Hi there, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Now today we'll continue with looking at importing survey data in Civil 3D 2020. Remember that when we import data from the field, we have two options. We can import the data directly into the drawing, but others working on the project won't necessarily have access to it. However, if we import the data into a survey database on a network, then we can share it with others working on the project. Let's take a look. So let's go ahead and add some simple data. Let's go ahead and right click on our database. We'll open for edit. And then what we want to do is go ahead and click on import events, right click, and click Import Survey Data. Now it gives us a little wizard right here. And since we've already set up our database settings, we won't have to go through this particular uh, side of the wizard. So let's go ahead and click Next. So now if we look here under the data source type, we have several different options. You can even import points that are already within the drawing into the survey database. But we don't necessarily need to do that right now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and pick point file. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick an external ASCII file and import that into our wizard. And we do that by clicking on the plus. And I've got this survey data just sitting on my desktop right now. So go ahead and click open. It's a text file. Now what Civil 3D will attempt to do is to determine what the point file format is. And right now it has selected Easting, Northing, and Elevation. That's what the ENZ stands for. But that's not exactly the format that this file is in. The file that we're working with is a point number, Northing, Easting, Elevation, and Description. So click this option all the way down at the bottom and you can see a preview of what that looks like. So go ahead and click Next. Next, the wizard will ask for the survey networks. We've already created that within our settings, so we'll go ahead and click Next. Lastly, we have our import settings. If we scroll down here, everything appears to be correct. One of the things that I want to do is I want to process the line work during the import. Go ahead and check that box. And it's on the current line work code set of sample, which is correct. And Civil 3D will also give our import event the text file name. So in other words, this import event will appear underneath our survey database under import events. Next I want to look down here we've got insert figure objects which is checked on. I want to also import survey points that's very important and then click finish. Now you can see the power of that import event. If we look within our tool space, and we expand this a little bit more, you'll see that Civil 3D created an import event for that specific text file. We can look under survey points. We have all of our points now listed within our database. And another way to check to see if our points are within our database or within our drawing, you can go into Prospector. And if you click on Points, you'll see that all of these points are actually locked. So when, when the points are locked within a drawing, that means that it's connected to a survey database. 
If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.